Hey there, welcome to the 50th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. Thanks for sticking us to this big milestone of 50 total tutorials of JavaScript. More to come. Uh, so in this tutorial, we're going to cover uh, a quick little thing called local storage. So did you know that you can store information in your browser to hold on to for an entire session? Well, based on a cookie, uh, even if you reload the page or even if you close your tab and open it back up again. Today we're going to cover window.local storage and and brief intro uh, to look at uh, window.session storage, which I'll cover at the end. So HTML5 allows you to store data information directly into your browser's memory instead of cookies. Sure, you can use cookies, but local storage is excellent for keeping data uh, in a current session without uh, cookies. Uh, ignore the V. Uh, it's based on domain information. So in in our Example here is going to be based on jsfiddle.net or jsshell.net. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, and local storage can allow you to store up to five megabytes of data. That's a lot of data because if you think about it, one character, uh, like for example, this letter T, is only eight bytes or eight bits, uh, which equals to one byte. And one megabyte is one million bytes. So technically, you can store up to five million characters in your session store in your local storage. Uh, not always recommended because uh, you want to. If, if you're holding that much data, you may want to keep it in a more permanent location, such as a database. So let's take a look at our example. So we're going to. We have this person object that I already declared. Uh, it has four uh, properties: name, title, location, and website. And we're going to store this information in local storage. Let's say someone filled out a form, and this data is extracted from that form. Uh, and we want to store this so that we can take this to an, a later page and process it there. So what we're going to do is we're going to first need to, uh, the one thing you need to know about local storage is that it can only store strings. So as this object is now, we can't store this object as we see it. We need to uh, store it as a string. Uh, later on, we can extract that string and turn it into a JSON uh, into a JSON item such with JSON parse, which we've covered a few tutorials ago. So let's do, we'll do var, we'll do JSON person. Uh, equals to json.stringify and the variable we used as person. So it turned this object into a string known as json person. So if we quickly log to the console, we'll see what it looks like. So inspect element, if you run it. So this is the string uh, in json person. So I'm going to comment that out for a little bit. And then now the, the, the only uh, command you need to know here is window dot local capital uh, lowercase at local capital s dot set item we want to name it something so we'll say person uh, and comma and we're going to send it a string variable which we're going to call as json person let's clear this out if i update and run Nothing happened in the console, right? You're like, where is this data? So in your developer tools here, uh, you have a tab called application. So when you go to that, you will see a local storage area here. Well, I already expanded it before. Uh, and you have uh, a few domains that are uh, listed here. The one we're looking at in uh, in our example here is called fiddle.jshell.net. So this is, uh, sorry, this is the jshell is uh, what we see in this bottom uh, right window here. Um, JS Fiddle doesn't have anything. It uses its own uh, local storage for other stuff, which is the entire JS Fiddle. So we look at JShell, uh, and we see person, and the value is blah, blah, blah. Easy, right? So if you want, so you're probably wondering, how do we extract that data? So we can do window.local. Let's do this. We'll do var get item. It goes to local storage dot. We set item to set the local storage. So we're going to do get item to get the item. And we only need the name of the uh, the the key that we use. So here you see the keys person. We declared it here. There we go. And then we can do uh, console dot log get item. We go back to console, run it. There we go. This is uh, what we extracted here. Uh, again, it's still a string. So you can turn this into a an object like we saw here. Again, you don't have to do this in the same window. This is really great for putting it through different pages of your uh, JavaScript. So we'll do uh, var item equals to. Let's do json.parse. Again, something I covered a few tutorials ago, get item. So we're going to parse through uh, get item. 
let's do console log of that item clear the console run it there you go the object is blah blah blah. now it's an actual object not a string anymore just to finish the loop here uh, with what we've learned in the past let's just do a quick for end loop so we'll do for var so p and item document that get element by id i have a, a div id called output here for here um, which is formatted nicely we'll do inner html we'll do plus equals to so we'll do p concatenate also item and then p property and then we'll do a quick little line break There we go. So we're iterating through the item object, which we parsed uh, from the get item string, which we rece received from the local storage, uh, which we set earlier uh, by setting this down there. So we'll do update. If I run it, there you go. It outputs it as I expected, uh, name, Nasmus title, dev, location, website, etc. as we see it here. But again, we're not uh, iterating through the person item, we're iterating through the item uh, through the object called uh, item, which we again got from local storage. Pretty cool, right? So let's say I open a new tab. Just open that in there. Sorry, let me set this as base. There we go. If I open inspect element and I go back to application, JS fiddle, my person is still there. So it, it persists through your entire uh, uh, your entire session here. So since I'm on incognito, if I close the browser and open back up, it's obviously not going to work. Uh, but uh, in other windows, it should come back up. So let's say you don't want it to persist uh, through multiple sessions. So what you can do here is instead of using that, is you do uh, do session storage instead. So just going to do a quick little uh, thing here. We're going to do window dot uh, session storage. Just do something like a website. Uh, I'm just going to set something, right? Easy programming.net. Run it. The window session storage is not a function. Uh, so, what happened here is, is my mistake is that I didn't do a set item um, on the uh, with session storage because, again, session storage not, is not the function. Set item is the method that we need to use. So, once I put that in there, I'll close this before I forget. Update and run. No error. Now, if I go into the application again, instead of local storage, we're going to go into session storage and inside fiddle.jshell. There we go. We have session storage. So, you can store information in local storage and session storage uh, in your browser. And if you refresh, if you, uh, you know, close the tab and come back later into the same domain, assuming you don't clear all of your cache and cookies, uh, this information will still be here. If you need to test, if you're testing things and you want to make sure that uh, this information doesn't exist anymore, you can come back to the application tab under local storage, uh, select the key, and then click on delete. So now it's gone. But if I run it again, it's going to come back because again, I'm setting it in uh, in line 12 of my JS fiddle here. So feel free to play around with that. I would also recommend going into the W3 schools uh, HTML5 web storage. Uh, page uh, you can also read up on it on the mozilla developer network they do cover uh local storage and session storage uh in the in their website as well uh i hope you enjoyed this 50th tutorial i thought this would be cool to show you something that uh, you can store data uh, between sessions in your browser you don't have to use variables uh, although you can you can use a, a local storage or a session storage key uh, if you have any questions please ask in the comments below uh, please visit easyprogramming.net for more tutorials. Thank you for sticking with us for the last 50 tutorials in easy JavaScript. Uh, I do have a few more planned and before I move on to jQuery. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.